Stop number two, brickworks. The area we're looking at is bordered by low brick curbs. It gives little impression of a factory's presence here. However, looking down, you should see the circular bases of the old beehive kilns. Kilns are giant ovens used for baking bricks and clay drainage pipes. Beehive kilns gained their name because of their distinctive shape. Up to 20 of them once stood here at the heart of the complex. How many can you count? When fired, the smoke belching from these kilns contained pollutants such as toxic flint dust. It meant pot workers were at constant risk of getting lung disease or lead poisoning. Clay from the mines and local clay pits were easily available, although better quality China clays were later imported from Derbyshire. A succession of local landowners and leaseholding families ran Preston Grange's potteries. Among them, in the 19th century, the Gordons and the Grant Sutties. Each owner or company invested in new ideas, buildings and equipment to try and exploit the area's full potential. For example, at the beginning of the last century, the Summer Lee Company replaced the kilns with new designs according to the demands for bricks or glazed pipes, it was under Summerlee that the brickworks had its greatest period of production. In the early Middle Ages, the pottery industry relied solely on clay diggings close at hand. By the 18th century, flint was imported. Flint nodules were ground at nearby mills and used to create transparent glazes. Some of the pottery had a green glaze, however it was rustic brown and cream ware which were most successful. You can see some of this pottery in the museum. The potteries were also encouraged and sustained by the long established salt production at Preston Pans. Local salt was often grey and full of impurities. Potteries used salt for glazing cups, plates and other ware and it didn't matter that the quality was poor. Cheaper English and Irish salt from rock salt deposits sent the industry into a long, slow decline. The last salt master of Preston Pans hung up his cap in 1959. Both salt masters, the owners of the salt pan businesses and potters had a ready use for coal dug here for heating their pans and kilns. If the pits were flooded, they had to bring in coal from Trenent or further afield. It took 21 horse-drawn cartloads of coal to fire just one kiln of 3,000 bricks. They began doing this in the 1750s and were to continue for the next 70 years. The end of the 18th century saw a building boom in Edinburgh and Preston Grange bricks were used in the construction of the new town. You have now reached the end of this track. Please pause your player until you reach your next stop.